In this video I'm going to answer the question what actually is dy by dx other than the basic answer that it's a function which tells you the gradient of the tangent to the graph of y equals f of x for any point x. Well yes we know that but what actually is it and where does it come from and why do you pull the number down and take one off? Well this is what's actually going on. We have a graph and it is curved, it's not a straight line and we want to know roughly how steep it is at this point here. Now, well not actually roughly, we want to know exactly how steep it is. Now, that steepness there is different from the steepness here. The steepness here is like almost zero. This is quite steep. This is steeper, 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 steeper. So it very much depends where I am. I have to state what's the steepness at this point. And then if I change that point, the answer to the question will change. Now what we do is we set up another point on the curve, because really we only need... need uh, know how to do gradient is changing y over changing x, right? So we need two points. So this is going to be the point x plus, and we're going to go forward a little bit of x, which is written delta x. So this will be x plus delta x. Now if we feed these two points into the function, we will get f of x, that's y, y equals f of x, and up here we will get f of x plus delta x will get what we get when we put this value of x into the function that's the y coordinate. Now in the same way that this bit's called delta x a little bit of x, this change here is called delta y a little bit of y. Now if this height here from there to there is delta y, well this y here is this height here, so this is y, this is delta y, so this thing up here, f of x plus delta x, is actually y plus delta y. Here's what we do. We get our y, and then we work out what y plus delta y is. Then we subtract y from both sides to give us just delta y. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I'm actually just going to find the gradient of this blue line here that line there. I'm going to find the gradient of that line. Now the gradient of that line is delta y divided by delta x. So that's the next step. You do delta y, which you've just worked out, divide it by delta x. And what you get is the gradient of the blue line. Now you might be thinking, well that's rubbish. I didn't want the gradient of the blue line. I wanted the gradient of the curve. The gradient of the curve is more like, more like this. That blue line's got a completely different gradient to the gradient of this green line, which is what I was after. Well, yes, you are right, but what if I pull this down the, the curve? What if I pull that second black dot down, 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 down like this? So basically what I'm doing is making delta x smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. I'll draw one on down here, like a really, really tiny little, little delta x. There he is, look how small delta x is now. And then if I join those two up and create this, you can see this is pretty close. It's not exact, I admit that, but it's pretty close. So the smaller I make my delta x, the closer the gradient of the blue line, the chord joining these two points, is going to be to the equation of the tangent. So if I take the limit as delta x goes to naught, I make delta x basically, I can't make it naught, otherwise I haven't got two points to join up, have I? If delta x is naught, I've just got the point x and the point x again. That's not two points, that's not a line, I can't do change in y over change in x, because there is no change in x and there is no change in y. So delta x has to always equal something, but I can make it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and see what happens, and that is the definition of dy by dx. I'll illustrate this with the example y equals x squared and hopefully that will help you to see in a less abstract way what's going on. So now let's assume this is the graph of y equals x squared. So my y down here will be my x squared. That's what the function's doing. So y is x squared. Now I increase my x by a little bit. I come across to x plus delta x y plus delta y is, is the value of the function 
at that point. So if this is x plus delta x, then y plus delta y is going to be x plus delta x squared, which is x squared plus 2 delta x, 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Now I subtract y from both sides. I'm taking off this distance to just isolate this height, dy, how much it's changed. Now y is x squared. y plus delta y is all of this. If I take the x squared off, just to get delta y, then what I'm left with is 2x delta x plus delta, no, yes, plus delta x squared. Okay, now I'm going to divide everything by delta x, and that's giving me the gradient of this blue line here. That's dy by dx, delta y by delta x. So that is going to give me 2x plus delta x. And then I'm going to take the limit as delta x goes to naught. So I'm going to imagine delta x becoming 0. And then what that's going to leave me with is 2x. So you can think of it as the 2 coming down and changing to a 1. But really, this is what's going on inside all differentiation.